If you're a business that runs on high level, I want to show you something that's going to make it easier for your prospects to book a service with you and for you to increase your conversions. I first did this for a wedding and event planner client of mine. She moves a lot of her business through WhatsApp and she wanted to have a way for her prospects that are on her website to start a WhatsApp conversation, give her a call directly through WhatsApp. To do this, the cool way is that I like having a header that sticks and scroll with a button for a call to action, which sometimes can be like clunky, lots of buttons going on. You can just have this this button be the only thing that sticks on scroll as users go up and down your website to take the action that you want them to take on your website to where they would be to start a WhatsApp conversation, give you a phone call, send you an email. I'm going to show you how to do this very quickly. My name is Rico and I run a high level web design agency. I help businesses that run on high level get better websites that get them more clients. So with that, let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how to do this. So why this is cool is because let's say you had a button on your website that looks like this. It doesn't have to be WhatsApp, by the way. It could be a button to get a call to your business to go to a specific booking page in this case it was just whatsapp because she moves again a lot of her business through whatsapp so let's say a prospect was on her mobile phone they found their business from instagram or from google they went ahead and clicked this button right here they would be prompted to start a whatsapp conversation so very very interactive and it works even better on mobile okay so i am on the website editor i have my website right here and the first thing that we're going to add is we're going to add some code to create the button and then what we do next is to style it and i'll show you what that looks like in just a sec so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into the page where you want to add the button i like to do it here on this footer right here what i'll do is like here and then i'll do code and then i'll add this right here then what i'll do is i'll click this right here open the code editor what we'll do is i'm going to paste a piece of code right here to create the button and i have this doc with all of my go high level web design resources i have different tutorials i have training i have like step-by-step -step guides on how to do different things today we're going to click on this one right here they're going to go ahead and copy that code go back to the website editor paste it here so in here, there's three things that you can change. The first will be the destination URL. We're not going to put a website. We're going to make it so that it starts a WhatsApp conversation, but you can do it to send an email, to go to a specific booking page, to start a regular phone call. The next thing is to change the actual text. And then the third would be if you wanted to add like some sort of icon or image in the button, you can also do that right here. In this case, I'm going to keep it so that it would start a conversation on WhatsApp. So what we'll do is we'll replace this right here with the following text right here. So it'd be HTTPS colon slash slash wa.me slash. And then here is where you would add your phone number. Say 1-305-111-2222. So this would mean that whenever the button is clicked, the website URL would be this right here. So it prompt the customer that was on your website to start a conversation with you to your WhatsApp number. For the text, we're going to keep it as book now. And then for your image URL, this line is optional right here. If you don't want an image, you can just get rid of it. But if you do want to add like an image next to the text, what you can do is, let's say you wanted to add your logo, you wanted to add like a email button or a phone button. What you can do is in this case, I'll add the actual logo of the spa. So let me just do that very quickly. I'll hit save. I'll click this logo right here. I'll scroll all the way to the bottom. I'll copy the image right here. I'll go back to the piece of code. And what I'll do is I will paste it here. I'll hit save. So we've added the button element. What we have to do now is style it using CSS. So we'll go here to the custom CSS window. If you haven't added any custom CSS, this would be blank. In this case, I have, which I did for a different video. I'll just scroll all the way to the bottom and then what I'll do is I'll go back to my Notion doc and for the one specifically that I did for that event planner is example one. I also have an example two, which would be one that is like this. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here for the example one. And then I'll go back to high level. I'll paste this right here. I'm not going to go into too much detail and explain everything, but basically the first function right here defines the button's position, where in the page it would be and then puts it on top of any other element. So make sure it's always visible when people are scrolling on your page. Here, we give it the actual style. And then here, we add some style when you hover over it. You can change the colors if you wanted to just make it match your branding colors. In this case, it's this color. And then when you hover the mouse, it's this color right here. So we'll click Save. Hit save here and then preview the website to see what that looks like. Now you see that as I scroll up and down the page, there is that button right here. You see that we added the logo of the spa. And as I hover my mouse, 
it changes color and it also becomes a little bit bigger. We can do different things to change the code. In this case, you see that it's kind of like attached to the bottom of the screen, but we can make it so that it's at the top. We can make it so that it's floating and just make it a little bit more dynamic to match your brand, whatever the sound you want to do. Something cool is that you notice that as I resize the screen, the button adjusts. So it's very, very interactive, very easy for you to place on your websites. And it makes it easier for prospects to go ahead and book because this button is always present no matter where they are on the page. If you wanted to add this button in every single page, you would have to make sure that you add the custom HTML code with the actual button on every single page and then style it on the CSS window right here for each of the different pages. A quick way to do this is I like to add all of those different elements that I want to be present in every single website on the header. What I'll do is I'll show you what I would do instead of me having to add this for each of the different pages. I would first save this as a global section. So I would do footer for spa site and then I'll do it as a global section hit save and if I wanted to go to a different page let's say the about page and then I will scroll all the way to the bottom right here I already have a footer but since we want it so that we have a global footer for all of our pages we'll replace it it's also good because let's say you're making changes on your footers you want to make sure if you make a change on one of the pages it spans across all of the different pages so I will delete this current footer that we have and then I'll add a global section which will be the footer for spa site Add it all the way at the bottom right here. And you see that I have the two pieces of code. One is for a previous video, which I'm not going to cover, but the second one is for the button. All you would have to do is go to the custom CSS window right here and then paste the style. So in this case, I'll go back to my Notion doc, copy this right here, paste it here, hit save. And then you would see that if I preview the site right here, the button would also be present on the about page. If I click, I'll be prompted to start a WhatsApp conversation with the number that I gave it on the piece of code that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So again, this is a tool that you can add to your Go High Level websites, make them a little bit more interactive. Make sure that you're capturing those leads and taking them to different custom actions, whether it be a call, a WhatsApp conversation, to send an email, to go to a specific booking page or a lead form. So just little things like this that you can add to your websites to make sure that they stand out from the competition and you make it easier for your prospects to book. If you want to get this exact website with the button and the different effects that I've shown you in different videos, you can go ahead and click the link in the description, get your own copy. Or if you want to get my Notion board for Go High Level Web Design, it has all of the tutorials, all of the resources that I use myself when I'm building websites for clients, you can go ahead and click in the description as well and get your own copy. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.